Hello everybody. Today I thought I would do on this sad occasion and uh, talk to you about Mugler's best fragrances and why I'm saying it's sad is that because he passed away a few days ago so I wanted to do this video because he, his house made amazing fragrances and I want to celebrate his life and creations in this way talking about my all-time favorite uh, Mugler Thierry Mugler fragrances. By the way, my name is Monica and I talk about fragrances a lot on this channel and the luxury as well. Uh, let's jump off and start with my favorite fragrance. By the way, let me know down in the comments what are your favorite Mugler fragrances. To me, one of the best fragrances is Mugler Muse and this is the Eau de Toilette Angel Muse. This scent is like a wild animal. I don't know. I've got weird images sometimes when I smell fragrances, but I love fragrance so much. They evoke just feelings and memories and I really appreciate that Mugler has given me those memories and happiness just because of these fragrances. This fragrance, Eau de Toilette, especially I do prefer because this is a complex, very intense scent and to me Eau de Parfum just lands a bit too heavy whereas Eau de Toilette just really shows beautiful to me this is like a strawberry jam opening of a fragrance with patchouli and cocoa like dark chocolate and vanilla tons of vanilla so it gives uh, this platform to this fragrance to really shine in both the heaviness and the fruitiness and the lightness of this fragrance so it's the perfect combination this is such a strong just powerful different scent and to me it really feels like the scent is out of this world it's like an alien scent mm, because <laughs> many fragrance houses for example i've got chanel here just sending and I was thinking how opposite and how fun fragrance houses are like Chanel, you've got Chanel classics like no brainers, everybody likes this fragrance and then you've got Mugler out of the box, just different fun. I love that about fragrance and different houses. I much prefer it to the normal angel, I think it's just much, it's still sweet but so complex, so different like wild <laughs> so love this one i also love and i don't own this one it's uh together cologne the green one this scent to me is super clean soapy smells like french riviera and yachts and monaco it just smells delicious amazing clean and it's unlike many of the Mugler scents. That's why I love it because it's so different. And this one is kind of hard to get, but I'll try to link it for you and find it uh, in the description of this video. And this scent reminds me of like Neroli Portofino, Tom Ford fragrances, but much, much more affordable. So I love this one. Maybe their fragrances will go like really crazy now that he has passed away, but who knows? I'll link it for you anyway. And the next one is this one alien absolute and i have featured it in a few of my videos and it's incredibly hard to get nowadays but i see it now and again and last time i talked about it i found it somewhere and then it got sold like really fast i don't know if one of you purchased it or somebody else and people were like where 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 did you find it because we need a backup of this this is such a good scent by the way the juice gets darker as the ages pass so don't be afraid when you get it it won't be as dark it might be but most likely likely not this is to me a much more sophisticated version oh my gosh of alien the normal alien this is so intense kind of heavier more mature more expensive smelling than alien or the toilet for example it's got its own character this is just an absolute masterpiece in a bottle such a sexy jasmine idolic fragrance such an opulent scent this one i would wear on a night out or if i'm going on a date and i'm wearing like a all black outfit like a leather jacket i would just spray tons of it and just 
if you want to make a statement, there's nothing better than wearing Alien. Even though it's quite a popular fragrance and a lot of people wear it, that's why I love the Absolute version because it's a bit different. It's one of the best flankers for me. And if I can find it, because I see it now and again, I'll link it for you guys. I see it on discounters a lot or like fragrance direct. That's why I see it usually. And I don't buy it because I'm like, I still have got a bottle, so I don't want to be too greedy. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, don't buy it, don't buy it, let other people enjoy it. Next one, I of course have to mention the Alien, just the normal one, because it's a fragrance that I think for many of us, it was the first Mugula that they fell in love with. And it was the same for me, I really liked it. Um, my journey, my memory of this scent is that I was on a New Year's Eve and I don't know why, but this guy, um, my husband's, now husband's friend, we went to a New Year's party at his house and his friend's house. And he was so nice <laughs> that he just uh, got a lot of different fragrances, perfumes for women and men. And in the bathroom, he was like, oh, like spray whatever you like. That was very, very nice of him. Uh, so I just picked this one and I re-sprayed it and like sprayed it all the time during New Year's Eve and the whole whole house probably smells like this now thinking about it because it's such a good fragrance and many uh, women there were just spraying it all over but it's such a fun rebellious free fragrance if you love jasmine then you have to check it out and the last fragrance that I love from the house of Google and it's also a flanker of Alien is Alien Oud Majesteux, I think it's called. It is the most just delicious, nice oud fragrance. To me, that is a standout from the line. I was flying somewhere and it was displayed and I was like, what is this? What is this gold bottle? And I sprayed it on me and I love spraying new fragrances as I'm traveling because I really get to like see if I love it or not and I just absolutely fell in love with it. I was talking to another person that does YouTube not too long ago and we were like DMing each other how amazing this fragrance is. This is a fragrance if you love more of a woodier but still like jasmine fragrance then go for that because it's I wouldn't say it's like oud oud but it's like a heavy transparent wood fragrance it projects really nicely it's such a spicy delicious just ambery warm scent but still with the alien DNA I love this one and I believe this one hasn't been discontinued yet so get yourself that one uh, if you prefer a heavier scent to your normal alien let me know down in the comments what is your favorite fragrance from the house of Mugler. i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what other videos you'd like to see on the channel by the way i've got an instagram where i post a bit more and like take you with me on fragrance shopping trips and it's monica underscore choch c-i-o-c-h and kikinka K instead of a C in Monica. Monica as a friend's Monica. I'll see you guys all again very soon. Bye.